Hello friends, Louis from the Holcott here. I don't do shoe videos very often, but here we are as yet again I allowed myself to be sucked into buying eye-catching and flashy shoes over the classy elegant shoes I often see other people wearing. These are the Barker Grant Oxford Wintick Brogues in rum and mustard. I had my eyes on these shoes on eBay for a few months, but the price put me off. That was until the seller sent me an offer £49.98 including postage and I finally pulled the trigger. Let's talk a bit about the brand. Barker Shoes was founded in 1880 by Arthur Barker and has now been making welted shoes in Earls Barton, Northamptonshire UK for more than 140 years. So many Northamptonshire brands have fallen by the wayside over the years but Barker is still going strong and apparently still sells 400,000 pairs of shoes every year. Now the Grant is part of Barker's creative collection, which is the brand's more contemporary collection with daring and unusual styles and colours. This particular pair is an Oxford wingtip brogue in a rich red colour with contrasted mustard, yellow or orange broguing, stitching and laces. The broguing is quite large and there's no toe medallion, which is a little bit unusual. It has a rounded last in traditional English style and the upper is made from a calfskin leather and it's amazingly soft and supple. It caught me a little bit off guard to be honest. There's a little defect here where the dye has run and there's also a few scuffs which I've covered using Sophia cream polish. They are good gear welted with the leather sole and a heel stack with a rubber tip for extra grip. The soles look a bit grimy, but there is still plenty of wear left in them yet. The insole and lining are leather too. And as you can see, the branding is stamped inside the shoe on the insole. And it's still clearly visible, which shows that the shoe hasn't been worn that much. If it had been, this would most likely be badly worn away. They are UK size 7 standard width and fit pretty well although they feel slightly roomier in terms of width than other brands I have tried. So what's the verdict? Well, as with all types of flashy shoe, if you have the basics covered with your blacks and dark browns and you're feeling a bit more adventurous, then sure, try something a little bit quirky and different like these brogues from Barker Shoes. I recently wore these on a glorious sunny day and the red really, really popped. Perhaps they won't go with a formal suit, but for a slightly more smart casual look, I'm sure they'll work well. One thing to bear in mind is that great care will have to be taken when polishing a shoe like this to avoid spoiling the contrasting stitching and broguing. Of course, a similar effect could be achieved by using a regular pair of coloured shoes and contrasted laces, but I don't think the end result would be quite as eye-catching or satisfying. I believe that Barker sold a matching belt to go with these shoes, but the chances of finding one are probably very slim, but you never know. That's it for today. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more shoe videos, then please consider liking and subscribing. The channel has just hit 2000 subscribers. What an absolute privilege. Thank you so much to everyone who has supported me so far. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.